Read for LibriVox.org by Ali Rose. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams, wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams, world losers and world forsakers, on whom the pale moon gleams. Yet we are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. With wonderful deathless ditties, we build up the world's great cities, and out of a fabulous story, we fashion an empire's glory. One man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown, and three with a new song's measure can trample a kingdom down. We in the ages lying, in the buried past of the earth, Built Nineveh with our sighing, and Babel itself with our mirth, and o'er through them with prophesying to the old of the new world's worth, for each age is a dream that is dying, or one that is coming to birth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Love Symphony by A. W. E. O'Shaughnessy Read for LibriVox.org by Ali Rose Along the garden way just now I heard the flowers speak The white rose told me of your brow The red rose of your cheek The lily of your bended head The bindweed of your hair Each looked its loveliest and said You were more than fair I went into the wood anon, and heard the wild birds sing. How sweet you were, they warbled on, piped, trilled, the selfsame thing. Thrush, blackbird, linnet, without pause, the burden did repeat, and still began again because you were more than sweet. And then I went down to the sea, and heard it murmuring too, part of an ancient mystery, all made of me and you. How many a thousand years ago I loved and you were sweet. Longer I could not stay and so I fled back to your feet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Linmouth by A.W.E. O'Shaughnessy Read for LibriVox.org by Ali Rose. Around my love and me the brooding hills, full of delicious murmurs, rise on high, closing upon this spot the summer fills, and over which there rules the summer sky. Behind us on the shore down there the sea roars roughly like a fierce pursuing hound. But all this hour is calm for her and me, and now another hill shuts out the sound. And now we breathe the odours of the glen, and round about us are enchanted things. The bird that hath blithe speech unknown to men, the river keen that hath a voice and sings. The tree that dwells with one ecstatic thought, wider and fairer growing year by year. The flower that floweth and knoweth not, the bee that scents the flower and draweth near. Our path is here, the rocky winding ledge, that sheer o'erhangs the rapid shouting stream, now dips down smoothly to the quiet edge, where restful waters lie as in the dream. The green exuberant branches overhead sport with the golden magic of the sun, here quite shut out, here like rare jewels shed, to fright the glittering lizards as they run. And woeful are all those mossy floors spread out beneath us in some pathless place, where the sun only reaches and outpours his smile where never a foot hath left a trace. And there are perfect nooks that have been made by the long-growing tree through some chance turn. Its trunk took since transformed with scent and shade, and filled with all the glory of the fern. And tender-tinted wood flowers are seen, clear starry blooms and bells of pensive blue, that led their delicate lives there in the green. What were the world if it should lose their hue? 
even o'er the rough outjutting stone that blocks the narrow way some cunning hand hath strewn the moss in rich adornment and the rocks down there seem written thick with many a rune and here upon that stone we rest a while for we can see the lovely rivers fall and wild and sweet the place is to beguile my love and keep her till i tell her all end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of a hundred great poems compiled by richard james cross world losers and world forsakers on whom the pale moon gleams yet we are the movers and shakers of the world for ever it seems with wonderful deathless ditties we build up the world's great cities and out of a fabulous story we fashion an empire's glory one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown and three with a new song's measure can trample a kingdom down we in the ages lying in the buried past of the earth build nineveh with our sighing and babel itself with our mirth and o'er through them with prophesizing to the old of the new world's worth for each age is a dream that is dying or one that is coming to birth end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Love Symphony by A.W.E.